few hundred people have turned up at Ankara University to witness something that happens only once every few years. People like Ebru Uzuncham, an astrophysics student who grew up admiring female scientists like physicist Marie Curie and thinking about the stars. From a very young age, I observed the sky at night. All the objects, the stars and the moon attracted my attention. I kept bothering my mum all the time and asking her to buy a science journal. That magazine had space cards. From there, I found information about space, the stars and celestial bodies. That's how my adventure started. They've all come to see a partial lunar eclipse. That's when the Earth moves between the Sun and a full moon, meaning that part of the moon becomes covered by the Earth's shadow. And this is where all the action is. No one has been to the moon since 1972. So here, they decided to bring the moon to Ankara. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Three years after the first successful lunar landing, the missions have stopped. There have been no more return trips for astronauts and not enough money to pay for them. But at observatories like this one in Ankara, they still see the importance of space travel, how it can enhance knowledge, develop scientific techniques, and how telescopes can help us discover if there really are other life forms out there. One of the most important points is whether we are alone in the cosmos or not. Are there other living things like us? Maybe it's a little hard to find them, but we're trying to discover materials that can make life happen on planets or trying to find out if it's unique to the Earth. From here, students can see billions of light years away to the edge of the solar system and the galaxies beyond, a place where they can truly reach for the stars. Andrew Hopkins, TRT World, Ankara.